for imaging of the toes, you do not need the entire foot. So be sure that you do collimate down so that you can have the tips of the toes and beyond the proximal portion of the metatarsal. So I like to go about halfway into the metatarsal area. Okay, now you can include the, the entire digits on the AP and you are going to have a central ray angle angling up towards the head at about 15 degrees and what this does, it helps straighten out the curve in the toes. Now an optional procedure that you can do with this is actually put a sponge underneath the toes like this to straighten out the toes and you can also do that method and if you do it that way you don't have to have that angle anymore just be sure once you do this that you do have a, a sponge in which you can wipe clean after having the patient's foot on the IR so for our AP, this will be our AP, be sure you do mark the side, the correct side. You're going to have the central ray cutting across here at the joint space of the metatarsals and the digits. So we're going to be going right across this metatarsal phalangeal area. So for our bleak toes, we can turn the foot in medially and we can have the foot at an angle of 30 to 45 degrees. Okay, and again, you can include all the digits on this, and our central ray is going right across the metatarsal phalangeal joint, the third one. So, for your bleak, again, you can include all the toes. Make sure that you do have the tips on because it's very easy to collimate too much on this. Now, if your physician likes for you to collimate further just over the actual digit, you can collimate down at that point. Now, for our lateral toes, we're going to lay the foot out on its side. This is going to be a medial lateral. Now, I'm going to, we'll say that we're needing to see a lateral of the fourth digit. And what I'm going to do is I've got a tongue depressor, and I'm going to separate that toe from the rest of them. So this brings that one out, okay, I'm going to get that centered right over that area, and then I'll ask the patient just to hold the stick in place while I collimate down tight to that fourth toe. Okay, so now we have imaging of just that one specific toe. So you can do this for any of the toes. Okay, so we got the second digit there. Usually, oftentimes when you're imaging the, the big toe or maybe even the second toe, you can roll the foot in medially and then separate it that way. And let me move my light here. Um, problem is, a lot of times when you do this medial rotation, it's just very difficult for the patient to roll it in. But if they're able to tolerate that, then go ahead and get the body part closer to the IR that will have a, a more, a better detailed image. Okay, and that's it for our toe x-ray.